Hey friends! In today's video, we are doing a full face of makeup, and I'm using mostly all brand new makeup. I picked up a huge, well, I think it's a huge haul. I picked up enough to do a complete full face of products from Vera Shop, and I'm super excited. Um, most of these products I have not tested. A couple of them I've been using over the last couple of weeks, um, but they are all brand new products to my channel, not products that I've really talked much about, with the exception of maybe one or two. Um, so I'm super excited. Today's video is in partnership with Vera Shop, so I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Vera Shop has become a new retailer that I shop this year because they have uh, such an extensive line of products. They not only sell beauty, but they also sell women's apparel, home, men's apparel, kids, clothing. Uh, so it's kind of like a one-stop shop for whatever you need. So it's a great destination for holiday shopping. They also have really quick two-day shipping and free shipping on orders of $35 or more. So so yeah, I want to share them. If you haven't checked them out, I wasn't familiar with them until this year. And now I've placed several orders on the website and had a really great experience every single time. But today's video is all about beauty focused. And I have a few products in here that I'm really excited to share because they are maybe even brands that I haven't even like my kind of first introduction to new brands. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have the hair back. I'm going to start with um, prepping my lips. One of the products that I picked up is the Super Goop Play SPF. 30 lip balm. Um, I wanted a good lip balm with SPF 30. I never think about SPF on my lips and I don't know why. Like <laughs> we should be protecting all of our skin, right? The skin all over our body, but I never think to put SPF on my lips. So when I saw this on the website, I thought this is something I'm going to pick up and I should probably stop talking. Okay. So ew, this feels nice. It's got a nice thick emollient consistency mm, and it has like a kind of a pepperminty uh, scent to it. Love that. Okay, I love a few of uh, Supergoop's products. I love their Unseen Sunscreen. They also have a Glow Time kind of primer that I really like too. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started for foundation. Now this is the one product of the haul that I've been using for a while and I love it. And uh, you've heard me talk about it before. It's the Coke and Doe Aqua Foundation. Vera Shop does carry the Coke and Doe brand on their um, website. I feel like this brand is a pretty exclusive brand. You don't find it everywhere, so I thought it was it was kind of exciting to see it featured there. And I'm going to use, where is my foundation brush? BK Beauty 101 brush to apply this. And I have the shade uh, 123. So I really enjoy this foundation a lot. This is a great foundation for those of us that have drier skin. My skin is pretty normal. In fact, I typically go with more of a matte foundation, but this is my go-to foundation on uh, days where my skin is drier or this time of year when it's cold and dry air outside and my skin is really dry. This is such a beautiful foundation. It's a beautiful foundation for mature skin. It just looks like skin when you apply it. It's so natural. I would say the coverage on it is pretty natural to medium. You can build it to get a medium coverage, but it's not going to be like a full heavy coverage foundation. You're not going to get this from, from it. It gives a really nice kind of subtle glow to the skin. Nothing really overly uh, luminous but it does give the skin a hydrated look. It almost looks like your skin right after you put moisturizer on. That's what it looks like, but you can set it and powder it down if you like more of a matte finish, which we are gonna do. Okay, I'm really excited to try this product. This was one that I picked up out of pure curiosity. I don't know that I've heard much about this product, but I'm always, when I see a new concealer that piques my interest, like I'm always about trying new concealers. This is the Kosas uh, Concealer. I have the shade four, which I think is a Good match. I'm always happy when I can shade match myself online. Um, it looks like it's a good shade. It's not going to be too light, but it's not too dark. It kind of hits perfectly on what I'm looking for. And the wand is pretty bendy, uh, which I like. Kosas is a more clean ingredient cosmetic line. So if you are uh, really interested in clean, non-toxic products. They are one that you might want to check out. I did pick up their mascara that I have fallen in love with this month. It was actually in my favorites video this month because it is just so good. I've been using it for a few weeks and it's amazing. Okay, so I applied that in the inner corner. I'm going to go in and blend that out. All of my brushes have blush on them. Okay, this is one I'll use. I'll use this one. This is just a little hourglass duo ended, dual ended brush. So the consistency on this is a good, like, it feels creamy and hydrating, but it doesn't feel thick. Sometimes I think creamy concealers can be on the thicker side. 
in terms of consistency. This does not. It feels like a lightweight, creamy texture. Yeah, I, I try and stay away from concealers that are really dry, but again, when you see a concealer that's really advertised as being creamy, sometimes it's too thick and you deal with creasing. This one actually feels really lightweight. We'll have to see how this wears throughout the day. And it blends out really easily. I do think that that's a perfect shade match. It had a bit uh, of yellow in it. When it when it actually applied on my underneath my eyes, I thought it might be a little too yellow, but it blends out nicely. That's really nice. I like the way that that looks initially. Concealer is a product that you really have to put to the test though, so. But initially I do like the application. It's very, very lightweight and it feels hydrating to the under eye area. To set everything, I'm gonna use this product and I have been loving this product. This also made it into my favorites video for the month. It is the By Terry um, Loose Powder. It's actually called a Hydra Care Setting Powder. And I have the shade 200 Natural. This is such a beautiful, lightweight, sheer, silky uh, setting powder. And it's translucent, but it's not white. It has a little bit of a kind of warm pink tone to it. So um, not to say that white powders, I don't like white powders, because a good white translucent powder can disappear, but sometimes it definitely lightens the skin and gives kind of a white cast to it. This does not. It looks very, very, very natural. It's just gonna kind of cut down some of that shine, but not really alter the way the makeup looks. And I like to apply this under the eye too. It's lightweight enough to where you can do that. Okay, so the skin is done and I really like the way it looks. Everything is concealed, but in a very natural um, finish and way. Okay, so I did pick up a bronzer, but it is way too dark for me. I, I was a little disappointed because I tried to apply this when I first got the products in it about a month ago, and this one was too dark. I ordered the Kosa uh, Baked Bronzer in Medium, and when I put it on my face, I'm actually scared to try and... <laughs> I kind of want to apply it because I don't have another bronzer to use in this video. Okay, we're going to try this, but I am going to say right now that this is too dark. I should have ordered the light version. So knowing that it's too dark, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. I'm not going to use something small and dense. I'm going to use something, you know, fluffier. I'm going to pick up a little bit of product and I'm actually going to blot it on a paper towel to get some of that off. Okay. Let's see. I hope I don't mess this up. Okay. No, that, that'll work. But I obviously, ideally, you're, you don't want to have to do this much work when you're applying a product. You want a product that's the right shade for you. This is way too dark for me, but if I apply it really soft, and I blot it on to a paper towel, it'll work. Very, very warm. It has a lot, it's a very warm red tone bronzer. Really gives you that like baked kind of tan look. Almost like if you get slightly sunburned and your skin gets that beautiful like bronzy redness to it, that's kind of what it looks like. There is a slight sheen to it. Um, nothing excessive. Yeah, it's just gonna give a, a little bit of a sheen which kind of mimics a glow to the skin. I do like the formula. I'm gonna have to order it in light because I do like that formula. If I work with it enough, the medium will work, but I'm gonna have to go and order that light. I'm definitely gonna order that light. I like this. Um, okay, so this is the shade Golden Bronze, too dark for me. Okay, next we're gonna go in with blush. I ordered a lot of products from Kosas. Um, this is the uh, Color and Light Cream Blush. It also has a highlight in it. And this is the shade Eighth Muse. And you can see that I've already swatched some of this. It's a cream blush and cream highlighter. I like that it has this cool tone pink to it. We are gonna use the BK Beauty 108 brush and I'm just gonna pick it up and apply it on my cheeks this way. I've been all about cream blushes over the last, I feel like the last six months I've really embraced the cream blush, maybe longer, um, but especially this time of year again. You're, it's all about giving your skin life during these cold, dry months, and cream blush is a quick, easy way to do that. And it's not scary. I think people can get intimidated by cream products, but it's really easy to apply. This is my favorite brush to apply it, by the way. Pretty, pretty. I like to build it up. I want some pink cheeks. Moving right along, I am so excited to share this next product with you. This is one that I've been using all month long. It made it into a favorites, and it's probably my one of my most um, favorite discoveries of the month. It is a new brow pencil, and it's by the brand Kevin Aquan. It's the Precision Brow Pencil, and I have the shade Brunette. It's just a brow pencil, so it's nothing like super exciting like an eyeshadow palette, but it is such a great discovery for me because I have been stuck on my same brow pencil 
pencil for so long. You guys know I love that NYX Precision Brow uh, Pencil. And I haven't really found anything that I thought was good enough to replace it. And this is, this really is. So this is interesting. When I first uh, got it, I was trying to figure out, oh, the cap won't come up, but it actually slides up and down, um, which is kind of convenient. You want to make sure that you slide it down all the way though, so that it doesn't dry out. Um, and it has a fine tip. So it's more of like a kind of micro tip uh, pencil, but I find that you can still get the look of like a powdered brow with it. Um, on the other side, it does have a spoolie. So I am going to use that side to comb the brows and get them ready. I like this because you can, like I said, get precision on like the tail end of a brow or if you need to sketch in some hair like strokes, but you can also get a look that looks like it's powdered or uh, applied with a more waxy, thicker pencil. It's really nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna skip the brow gel today. I'm just gonna use the spoolie to kind of brush the hairs in, also soften everything so it just looks really even. Okay, I'm excited to play with this. This is a little kind of mini eye shadow uh, set from Kevin Aquan. And I picked a, a more cool tone palette. So it's cool tone purples, really, really pretty. And then it also comes with this little liquid uh, foiled eyeshadow. So we're gonna work with both of these. Um, I did use a kind of basic primer to apply on my lids first. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna apply my, um, actually we're gonna go in with this foiled shade first. I think we're gonna try, try this out. So it's this tiny little foiled shadow guy. Let's look at, ooh, okay, that. <gasps> Wow, I mean that is like liquid metal. It's this really beautiful kind of warm tan coppery color and very, very opaque. We're gonna apply this on the eyes and I think I'm gonna use my finger to, actually I'm gonna use this brush just to a flat kind of synthetic head brush to uh, blend it out. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, that is so beautiful. I don't know how quickly this dries, so I'm gonna work quickly just in case it dries quickly. Okay, that is gorgeous, you guys, wow. On my lids, it actually looks like a tad pink, like a pink tan foiled shade. So I'm packing it on um, and kind of spreading it onto the lid. I don't want a real harsh line where it stops, so I'm actually gonna take a um, soft kind of uh, fluffy brush and I'm going to work to blend that crease up a bit, just so it has a softer edge. I don't want it to be like real cut there. And then I'm just gonna kind of work my way over this to pull it out and shear it out a little bit. I'm trying to see how workable these are. Like if you can shear them out if you want something a little more sheer. They're definitely really intense and foiled, but if you use a softer, fluffier brush like this, you definitely can get a softer application. And I did apply quite a bit. I do think, and it's not drying too quickly. It gives you some time to work with it, which is nice. That's what you want. You want a cream or liquid shadow that gives you time to work and manipulate it, but also when it dries, it stays in place, right? And it doesn't stay creamy because then you deal with, you know, creasing. Okay, so we're gonna apply that. I'm gonna kind of clean up to get a nice straight edge. So I did end up kind of shearing that out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's the middle uh, matte shade right here. And we're gonna apply that in the crease to just give a little bit of definition in the crease while that lid is setting. And I'm gonna kind of pull it out to give more of an almond shape eye with this, like an almond kind of cat eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with this deeper, vibrant, shimmery uh, violet shade, and we're gonna apply that just in the outer corner, and then I'll blend it out with a fluffier brush. Okay, so this doesn't really add a lot of depth, but it adds more purple color. I think I'm gonna need to go in with something a little darker to get the depth I want. So I've switched plans here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run it on the outer half of the lid, just to make that a little more purple. Purple is so fun and pretty. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this darker shade here and we're gonna build that in the outer corner to add some depth. So I'm gonna go first and kind of build it and then I'm gonna take a tapered uh, blending brush and soften everything out so it looks nice and pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like that progression of purple. You can really see like every shade we applied, but it kind of just smokes together seamlessly. That is really beautiful. I'm gonna be honest, when I opened this palette earlier this month, I, this is the first time I've worn it. So when I opened it earlier this month, I wasn't too excited for it because it's totally like not my normal, you know, warm neutral browns, but I'm really liking this. This looks really, really nice. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade right here and we're gonna add a little bit underneath the brow. Hopefully it's light enough to give, oh yeah, perfect, to give a little bit of a brow highlight, pretty. I'm gonna go in and line my eyes with a black liquid liner and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a cat eye. 
For the lower lash, and I'm going to take the uh, vibrant violet that we have here, and we're going to apply that on the lower um, outer part of the lash line. And then we're going to take the darkest shade, and we're going to add that just to the outer corner. I'm going to curl up my lashes. Okay. So for mascara, I'm using the Kosas uh, Big Clean Mascara. This is a product that I've been using all month and have really, really grown to love it. I feel like it really gives dramatic lashes. Uh, it is very um, volumizing and lengthening. The consistency does seem a bit drier, like I've had mine for about a month and I do feel like when I open it, it's a little thicker, um, but I love it. It doesn't feel like it clumps. You do have to take your time and just kind of really, you know, feather out the lashes, but it's really, really beautiful and it's non-irritating to my eyes. I do have more sensitive eyes, so I can be sensitive to some mascaras. Sometimes I'll, I'll wear mascaras and I'll love them. And then later throughout the day, my eyes will feel itchy and red. And unfortunately, even if a mascara is high performing, if it's going to irritate my eyes, I can't wear it. This one does not irritate my eyes at all. The wand is curved to the applicator, so it does a great job of kind of lifting the lashes and enhancing a little bit of a curl. I have really straight lashes, so I always use a lash curler any way I have to. If you get a little mascara on your lid like I did, just leave it there, let it dry, and then it'll flake off really easily. If you go and try and remove it too quickly while it's still wet, then you know what happens. You just end up with a mascara mess. And the last product that I'm gonna apply is this lip oil. It's like a hybrid between a lip gloss and a lip oil. It's by Lila B. And this is the shade B Remarkable. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's like this um, kind of like medium, deeper, kind of rosy mauve shade. By the way, this is that Kevin O'Quan foiled liquid shadow and it is not budging, like it is on. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, because it didn't dry too fast, but once it did dry, it stayed in place. And I did apply a lighter sheer gloss first. This shade is a little bit darker than I would want to pair with this eye, so I wanted to have something down there that kind of um, softened it a bit, diffused it a bit, and I didn't apply any liner. This is such a beautiful formula. It really does feel like an interesting hybrid of a lip gloss and a lip oil. It doesn't feel oily on the lips at all, but it definitely is not your typical like thicker gloss. Yeah, it's beautiful. The color, it says it's a tinted lip oil, but I feel like the color is pretty, um, I mean, I feel like it's a pretty, it packs a punch of color for sure. It's not a sheer product at all. It's definitely one that you can wear by itself. The only reason I paired a lighter lip gloss down first is because the color is a little deeper than I wanted but you could totally wear this by itself. That's really nice. And it gives the lips a gloss and a shine, but not like your typical, like super high glossy lip look. It's very, very, very pretty and, and different. Like I can't put my, I can't like put my finger on what is different, but it's just an interesting and different type of lip gloss formula. And that completes this look. I do love the way that it turned out. I have to say, I was not sure if I was gonna love this eyeshadow palette, and it's definitely not gonna be an everyday palette for me by any means, because it is more color than I normally wear, but I really, really like this eye look, and I think that it is more versatile than just having a purple eye. I think it having this foiled liquid shadow in here really m creates more versatility in this little palette. Uh, okay, so let's talk about kind of standout products for me that I really loved from this haul. Um, I would I would say this would be one of them, and I'm gonna tell you why. The formula is really beautiful. I love that it comes with this foiled um, eye color. I wanna get online and see what other color stories they have, because I would probably uh, purchase one that's more neutral kind of every day, but this is really beautiful, especially for holiday. Um, the concealer, I'm on the fence about. I will wear this throughout the day, and I will check in and maybe leave a pinned comment down below. Uh, at first application, it's nice. It's lightweight, it's creamy. I would say the coverage is a good medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage, but I need to kind of wear it throughout the day to make sure it doesn't crease or fade. Let's just stick with standout products. The brow pencil for sure is a standout product. Really enjoy this product. Um, the By Terry Loose Powder, the Kosas Clean, Big Clean Mascara, I'm really enjoying. You guys already know I love the Kokendo Aqua Foundation. I think this is it's definitely a splurge, but it is such a beautiful uh, foundation. If you do decide to splurge on this, I don't think it's gonna be one that you would regret purchasing unless you have more oily skin. 
Um, what else really stood out to me? I really enjoyed this cream blush a lot. I didn't apply the highlighter uh, just because I felt like with the um, aqua foundation and the cream blush and the shimmer on the bronzer, I didn't want to overload too much with the shimmery products. But the, the concealer, I mean, I'm sorry, the highlight uh, formula is also really beautiful and light. I do prefer to use a cream highlight when I highlight because I just think that you can get a more natural, softer, I mean, look at that, softer, um, natural effect. So yeah, and I enjoy this lip oil. Again, the, the shade, I would probably go with something a little more peach pink for my personal preferences, but I do like the formula. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link all the products that I used in today's video in the description box below, all from Vera Shop. Again, it's free shipping with orders over $35 or more, and it's two-day shipping. So if you haven't checked out Vera Shop, I highly encourage you to check it out. It's a great online retailer that, I, like I said, you can kind of cover your beauty needs, your apparel needs, your home needs. It's kind of like a one-stop shop. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.